David McBride. David McBride has the truth on his side. Has the truth on his side. The government lied. The government lied about the war crimes they hide. Today I'm quite embarrassed to be a lawyer, to be standing in front of a Supreme Court where the first person to be tried for war crimes is the guy who exposed it. I, I just find that unbelievable. Shame. It's a real shame. Today is a sad day. A whistleblower goes on trial. This prosecution is a source of great disappointment for the public. This is not what they expected from a Labor government. They expected change. They expected uh, shore, the shoring up of democracy. And instead, we've got the opposite. And we will never forget that this government is now trying to put David McBride in jail. And what's David McBride's crime? His crime is telling the truth about war crimes. That's what his crime is. His crime is being brave and being principled and being decent and not being able to be silent while war crimes are committed by people in Australian military uniform. We all know that if the public had a better understanding of this, nobody would support this. Nobody would support David being uh, on trial for this. He should be, he and other brave people who've actually had the courage to stand up and call out corruption and call out wrongdoing uh, should be applauded, not prosecuted. And as we're seeing another war, unfolding in front of our eyes and we're seeing the reality of the violence of war surely it's a time for the australian public to reflect on the importance of truth telling the importance of whistleblowers this was no secret a lot of people knew what was going on in in uh, afghanistan and only one person stood up to take it on and he has if you have followed it over the years really sacrificed years of his life and indeed is now sacrificing his freedom for all of us. So this case is unjust in its own right, but it's unjust because of the chilling effect it has. And that's not good for all of us. Any of us could see something wrong tomorrow. And would we speak up when we know what happens to brave truth tellers? There's one person who hasn't shown courage. There's one person who's had the power to end this prosecution and instead has stayed silent and has refused to act. And that's the Federal Attorney General. And with literally the flick of his pen, he could stop this prosecution now and not just save David McBride from this prosecution, but send a powerful message to every bureaucrat, every government official, every whistleblower in the country that we value you and we respect you and we'll back you in when you make the brave call. That's why we need this to end. We need more people like him. And obviously, if we don't support David, if we don't support Richard Boyle and Julian Assange, then this country is in serious trouble. The whole union movement is behind this. We understand solidarity and we understand that standing together is the only way change ever happens. I'm heartened by the level of support for whistleblowers here today and the level of support we've seen in recent years support that's growing. I'm disappointed that the government has not listened to that support. We urgently need an end to prosecution of whistleblowers. We need stronger whistleblower reform and we need the establishment of a whistleblower protection authority. He doesn't deserve to go to prison. He deserves to have a statue put in front of the Supreme Court to say these are the people we respect, not your politicians, but the people who are prepared to come and tell the truth.